hey everybody, welcome back to White Rabbit. Today we've got something a little special. I've been using the sim rig and the way it's set up, I've been having to kind of like reach over or get up um, and go over to, you know, like around the sim rig to use my mouse and keyboard because they're both wired. I've always kind of used wired because in my opinion, it was the least latency for gaming. But things are a little different now that we've got Bluetooth 5.0. So I got, went ahead and picked up the Royal Kledge RK84 and the Logitech G502X Lightspeed. Both of these are Bluetooth 5.0, but they do have USB dongles as well, if that's what your setup requires. I'm going to run them on Bluetooth to just have that kind of lowest latency possible for when I'm you know, doing FPS or something like that. And once my track racer keyboard stand comes, which is uh, on back order right now, I'll be able to put that on there and, and use that. In the meantime, I think I'll just like move out my old it's funny I say old but I used it like one day it's the GT Omega kind of um, stand as you can see here I'll just use that as like a keyboard stand for now for when I'm actually doing the sim racing until my track racer one comes we'll do an unboxing of both of these get them set up I think I'm gonna do some mods to the the keyboard not quite sure what uh, I've never modded keyboards before so maybe see that in the future but in the meantime let's just unbox them get them hooked up and play a little bit of FPS and see the difference between my Rocat mouse and keyboard setup that I had. I mean, I love this keyboard and mouse, but they're just not as flexible as I'd like them to be just because they're wired. Let's make some adjustments to the camera setup so that you can see me do the unboxing. Okay, yeah, here we go. This is kind of my current setup, which is the Rocat keyboard, mouse, and headset. I'm gonna be keeping the headset. I love the headset that's the like ELO 7.1 Bluetooth, but cable, cable. Let's move these out of the way. Let's open this up. Damn, it's banging. So I live in Germany, for those of you who don't know that already, but this is the American keyboard setup. That's cool. I don't have to worry too much about like shifting things around. Uh, cool. Okay. So yeah, we get the keyboard, which comes with, um, this bezel that is removable. If you like this kind of like low profile look to it, there's the blue, red, and brown. I got brown because I feel like it's nice kind of in between the blue and the red. So it also comes with these two magnetic feet. So we can clip those on there. Yeah, that's pretty good for magnets actually. This is the USB type A to type C connection. I don't know how much I would use this to be honest. It's just, uh, yeah, it's kind of cheap, but yeah, it's all right. Looks like about four extra key switches. I'll just put those aside, your kind of key puller and switch puller. I do remember at one point seeing an unboxing that had like an extra little um, USB adapter port so that basically what you could do is you could run this cable from your PC up to here and then use the uh, USB C to A adapter so that you could plug this into it so that you could kind of have your you know dedicated connection to the keyboard closer to it like up on your desk or something because I have heard a lot of complaints that the range on this is pretty shite which is not that big a deal to me because I'm not going to be using it that's obviously not in the box anymore. So here's on off switch and then your Bluetooth to um, USB dedicated connection. Let's turn it on and wonder. Yeah, okay. Battery's got some juice. P is flashing for some reason. I did not read the user manual at all. <laughs> uh, RK84, RGB 5.0. Yeah, your device is ready to go. Let's bring the mic down, see if, uh, what you guys think of the the sound there it is that is the audio test now let's look at some of the other user manual stuff switch to rgb version so function end Ooh, I love that teal look. I mean, that's very much like my PC. Oh. Oh, yeah. 
Okay, so you can change color by going function end. So let's go stick with that teal. And then function home is kind of the, the different styles. Okay, you can change the, the backlight speed here. You can also change the brightness here. There's a lot going on in this. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. All right, plenty of different settings. That's dope. Another cool feature is it's got the USB type C in here on the back and then two USB type A's. I'm told, though I have to check, that these are also pass through um, as far as power supply goes. So that's also pretty cool. I'm loving this. This is dope. All right, next up, let's open up the G502X Lightspeed from Logitech. Where's my scalpel? Oh, fuck my scalpel. I mean, as usual, Logitech, very premium feel packaging. So that's really nice. Oh, hell yeah. Good, some foam on the top there for protecting during transport. Cool. Wow. So light, 106 grams. Of course, that is without, I think it's light force, which I'm going to be getting hopefully later. The attachment that you add in here so that you can get um, light force compatible, like mouse pad or something like that. So that just having it on the mouse pad charges it, which is freaking awesome. Cause then I never have to worry about charging, but let's get this plastic off. Oh man, so satisfying. <laughs> mm hmm Crazy light. I mean, if this is 106, that's got to be 130, I would say. This thing is light. Uh, so if you don't know, this is the Logitech G502X Lightspeed with the Hero sensor. It does not have the light force kind of um, extra with it. I will be getting that later. It's got a cool little spot here for the USB connection, the dedicated connection. So you can just put that in there, which is great, I guess, for travel. If you are kind of putting this mouse in your backpack, that's awesome. Yeah, this is really nice. It also does have this alternate cover here. So what this does have is it's got this button here on the side and that is your DPI switch. So you can actually go in and, you know, be running whatever DPI and then switch instantly to another DPI that is better for um, kind of maybe slow movement or scoped. So they call it the sniper button. I think there is, in fact, there is a little sniper design there. If you can see it on the button, um, so you can switch instantly uh, your DPI to help you out and get those headshots. You can take it off. It is just held by a magnet. Put this kind of cover on here. I don't know if it's more ergonomic for your thumb to not have that button there or if you find that you're pressing that button too much. Problem solved. Just cover it up. I do want to use this feature because I think that's fucking awesome and you can swap it around either direction that you like. So if you like it this way or you guessed it. <laughs> the other way. This has got a bit more of what I would say is like a hair trigger to it um, just because of this little piece of plastic that kind of comes down and I would say this way is a bit more of an intentional yeah a bit more of an intentional click so I think I'll probably have it like that plus it just kind of looks cool this way. These are optical but they do have that kind of feedback click so that's cool it does have this um, LED here once it's connected to indicate by color what DPI setting you have it to that is the mouse wheel oh yeah that that moves nice and smooth with the two different settings you can very nice cool let's turn this thing on another this is well basically the exact same feeling as the uh as the royal kludge usb type a to type c not super high quality but good enough to charge your mouse i guess okay you know what okay so i actually got confused that extra piece that i was talking about earlier with the royal clutch i got mixed up um so that was totally off it's actually the mouse that i've heard has issues with the usb type a connection as far as distance goes so if your pc or connection point is further than one to two feet or half a meter away from your mouse that there's some latency issues so so there's this kind of dongle in here that they've added so that you can run from your PC on your type A to your endpoint here with the type C put the USB dedicated connection here and have that up on your desk or somewhere very close so that the latency is a non-issue um, so I guess you would kind of run it like this up to your desk 
And then if you wanted to charge your mouse, well, it's plugged in and therefore not an issue for, um, you know, needing this anymore. I will be using Bluetooth or the light speed, as Logitech calls it, to, to connect this mouse. So let's try and connect. Maybe I should read the instructions. Why do I never read instructions? Okay, Logitech G Hub, download now. So that is something you do need, is you do need Logitech G Hub. That is going to, I guess, get the light speed running as well as doing your RGB stuff on the mouse. As far as I know, because this is the light speed version, there is no RGB on this mouse. I don't really give a shit about RGB on the mouse. I just care that it is as fast as possible. And that's what Logitech is claiming this mouse is. Just throwing shit around anyway. Get out of here. I guess I do need to connect this via USB for the first time. Okay, 43% approximately. 63 hours left. Cool. Okay, so you can do custom actions here. Right on. Okay, all of that's cool. All right, sweet. Set up. Okay, cool. So that was the unboxing of the Royal Clutch RK84 and the Logitech G502X Lightspeed. Let's play some games. See how it works. What should we play? I mean, what should we play? We gonna play some Hell Let Loose. There he is. Got him. Matt, I got him. Oh, shit. Oh, got him. I got him. Missed him. Oh no. No. There we go. There we go. Oh. One peek. Oh, seriously? Shit. Oh. All right, that felt good. I'm happy with that part. Shit! Victory! Boom, 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 boom. Fucking nicely done. GG's. All right, everybody, thanks again for watching. This was actually like a lot of fun. This is a lot of fun. This is the G502X Light Speed. Uh, this mouse, honestly, they say it's the best gaming mouse of 2022, and I totally believe them. It's awesome. And this is the Royal Kledge RK84 keyboard. Both of these are badass. I'm so glad that I picked them up and I'm gonna keep using them. So thanks everybody for watching. This has been White Rabbit. Make sure to subscribe, like the video, check out all our other ones. Thanks for watching. See you later.